Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back into Lincoln Creek. Oh, we've got everything, well, injected. Fields are good to go. We can finally get down to planting. Of course, I should return Pickle's ammonia injector first. Let's get on that. Bitter patter. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. Or in rain, or to hear that train. There she oh, there we go. And um, it's pitter patter. YouTube, I don't know why you think I say bitter batter, but it's uh, it's not bitter batter. It's pitter patter. It's, what is what is bitter batter exactly? Actually, never mind. Don't answer that question. Uh, the ammonia, the anhydrous ammonia is ready to go back. Uh, you know what? We better clean this for pickle first before I send it back. You know what? Look at I actually do clean things. Nothing like trying to scrape all the mud off of the garden hose. Uh, okay, used mods garden hose. Could we get a pressure washer maybe at this farm? That may be something I should probably consider. Nothing like no no pressure out of the garden hose. Come on, man. I should probably do the uh, the 8530 here as well. You know, it, it's it was underpowered for this setup, but it got the the job done. But I I'm afraid I'm it's not looking good right now. It's it's running a little rough. We'll see how she does today. Uh, it's no rest for the wicked day. We gotta get the planting with this thing. Oh yeah, yeah, bye. That looks that looks perfect. It looks so much better. Look at it. Spotless. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's take this back down to Jake's. We'll drop this thing off today, and uh, we'll get into the fields and just get rid of this so it's off of my plate. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Nothing coming. Let's get our hazards on. Beacons on. Nobody coming. All right, guys. Heading town. And as always, crew, welcome in. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Of course, uh, well, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're one of the new folks around here, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And of course, if you have not already subscribed, make sure you guys go down below, slap that subscribe button so you don't miss anything here going on with FarmSim 19. Of course, FarmSim 22 is just around the corner as well. We're doing lots of stuff on that. But things are looking good here. We're going to keep on working on on the uh, well, Lincoln Creek server. Uh, why is nothing going on down here? Let's see if Jake's around. I can just maybe pull in and drop this off. Um... Interesting parking. I've got some questions. That doesn't look like a good spot for that truck. Just saying. Hey! You can't park here! It's right by the, the police station, so at least... Well, emergency service... Did somebody lose a tractor? It's in the impound lot. That's not really a tractor. It's a lawnmower. Who impounds a lawnmower? Oh, it looks like he's got his truck right there. It looks like he's loading stuff up. Let's see if I can go find him here. Don't see anybody around, though. Shut that door. Jake, where are you? Hello? Jake? You in here? No, nothing in there. How about the other shop across the way? Jake, you... No, not in here either. Never mind. Um, he must be on his lunch break. Maybe he's going to Gertie's to get some tacos. You want to throw up here? You want to throw up in the car? Guys, I guess we'll just uh, leave this here. I don't have time to wait around. I need to get to planting. If you guys see uh, if you guys see Jake, make sure you go ask him how Gertie's tacos are. Yeah, we ain't got time for that. We gotta get back to work here. We got fields to get in the ground. Uh, we got lots of seeds to get down and not a lot of time to do it. Let's go. Oh, easy, easy. Ah, best driver in farm sim. We got this. All right, so here's the plan for the day. We've got to get the DB60 out of the shop, we'll hook it up to our 8530. Of course, we've got to fill it with seeds still. Uh, it's already got uh, fertilizer in the tank. We filled that up beforehand. I had, uh, I had Pickle take care of that. However, I still need to fill this with seed and my other problem is, I don't know if this is going to make... We'll see. So to start with, let's pull out the uh, the tender. We'll get the seed tender out of the way. So I can at least use that to fill that thing back on up with. And then we'll just get in the field, hopefully, and get this done. Now we've got two different crops we're planting this year. we got soy and we got corn. Our two different crops... Oh, did I hit it? There we go. thought I hit that. Make sure we get lock that pin in place. So we'll be starting off with the corn. The beans can wait a little bit. Corn's got to go in the ground right away. The beans can wait until we get a little bit warmer out, uh, but the corn, we're due, we're past due, to be honest with you guys. Well, that was a pain. Um, Pickle, you, this doesn't bend. You, you sent me one with an actuator that doesn't bend up. The, I can't get the crane arm high enough. I had to, like, bend this rubber mount into... Oh, oh, get up the stairs, clutch. There we go. I had to burn, bend that rubber mount so it's, like, inside there, but it's almost the same height. So, don't ask. What a... That's not easy. That that needs to be fixed. <laughs> Ridiculous. But we got her done, so that's all that matters. Let's get into this field. Let's get this corn planted. So we've got corn on fields 
Cross the road, beans on fields by the farm. That's how we're how we're uh, we're laying the lands. Let's get across here. This has all been already pumped within hydras. If you guys were around for that, so you might remember we actually had uh, we had pickle come out and give us a hand with that. We did some hydrasing on this field as well as the one on the other side of the uh, the cattle area here. So this is all ready to go. We are ready to rock and roll in here. I'm gonna start right in the corner here. Uh, we'll probably do a uh, we'll do a couple headlands and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Let's get this set up. All right. Those are all opening up. Things look good. Let this slide open. Looks like we should be all right. The DB60 should be a good setup for this. Shouldn't take us too long to get through the corn on this field, at least. Hopefully. Like I said, this has got to get done today. This has to get done today. Oh, man. If we don't get her done today, we could be in some, some serious trouble. Fire everything up. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of electronics. We, we do have GPS on this. Fortunately, it's an aftermarket GPS we put down on this thing. So that's that'll work oh boy get off that fence line clutch come on baby off the fence there we go oh yeah she's rubbing against the fence post let me just make sure we set that up there we go get her away from that that's better <laughs> oh boy we're so close to those fence posts we'll just have to get this a little bit farther off there we go that looks better all right so like i said we need to get to this field today um, I do have a GPS on this, but it's an aftermarket GPS. And uh, we'll see how this works. Now, this tractor... Oh, guys, we put, a, we put a lot of miles on this, a lot of hours on this tractor already over in these fields. And um, it's handling it, but I'm starting to... It needs, some, it needs some downtime. It needs a little bit of maintenance, and I just have not had the time to give it to it yet. Now, if I had a proper GPS, I would set it up so that I would do headlands last. But... Um, we're kind of playing this by, well, we have to see what we're doing. So I've got to get the headlands done first, and then we'll go from there. Then I have a better idea. But like, yeah, with the way their GPS works on this one, we've got to do them first. Get them out of the way. And then, then we'll have a chance to uh, take a look at this. Doesn't look like uh, the neighbors are getting their fields in the ground at all. Look at this. We've got a bunch of dead corn stalks way out there as far as the eye can see. Man, that's a good-sized field, too. I wouldn't mind having that to just combine with mine. Instead, we've got this uh, irrigation ditch in the middle. That would be nice to have. I don't think we're getting there this year, unfortunately. Look how much we got left to do here. This is a big, good-sized field, guys. Oh, well, we'll get the first headland done, and from here, we'll uh, we'll see how we make do. 8530 seems to be okay with this so far. So far, so good. The sun's starting to come out. Look at that. Nice and bright out here. Uh, we're almost done our first headland here. Oh, I kept this straight. We shut off the last nozzles over there. Just because, well, this field cuts in a little bit because of this uh, this beef area, the cattle area. And I'm trying to keep everything nice and straight for our GPS to be able to engage on this. So we'll just get to the end here. This is the first headland is done. And uh, from here, we should just be able to go back and forth from now and finish off this field. Uh, it's going to be a few passes, it looks like, chat. All right, so I misjudged a little bit on uh, the headland here. The la this one down by the fence line is just a little bit too tight. I'm going to do a second headland just down here just to get a little bit of space. Like I said, I wish we could do the headlands later. But this GPS is not exactly great for that. Let's set this up. We'll go down right here-ish. And see how far I got. And then I'm stuck up against the fence line there. I don't want to double plant. Let's get nice and squared away. Perfect. Drop that down. Okay. Let's uh, just get this down. We'll get our second headland down in here. And then I shouldn't need to worry about turning around too much in this corner. It should make my life just a little bit easier. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck back and forth. And yeah, whatever. Like I said, wish we could have done this uh, after we planted. There we go. That looks a little bit nicer. Uh, don't get off these crops a little bit. And uh, we sh that, that should work. I like that. All right. Now we should be good to go. I mean, we've already done a couple of passes, but uh, the, this will make life a little bit easier. Spin this around. Turn our GPS on. And we're good to go. So we're about halfway done. Yeah, about halfway done. Guys, I'm getting some I'm getting some weird noises out of this thing. I don't know what, what's going on with it. It's definitely definitely a little bit strange. I'm not quite sure what, what's going on. I'm hearing some grinding going on. And just what is that? What is that no Oh boy. Um That's a problem. Holy Oh boy, that's that's not good at all, guys. That's a huge problem. Uh did we blow something? I must have I must have blown something out of this yeah it's just pouring out did we oh damn it all right i'm gonna run back. is this thing off let me just make sure everything's off on this okay everything's disconnected uh 
that's oh, okay disconnect the battery perfect all right guys um yeah that's that's an issue let's see if this just dissipates here a little bit you know what i better i'm gonna disconnect the planter just to be on the safe side it uh doesn't seem like anything's happening it just it seems like a seal's blowing on it i'm not quite sure yet but let's just disconnect this trailer uh we'll leave the planter here for a sec i'll go grab one of our other tractors and bring that out here maybe we can plant it then we'll see how this how this works if it lets it sit for a bit well good thing it's not too far of a walk but all right i'm this is the problem i'm gonna run into here guys is i don't have anything that's really suited to run that planter i mean i could make a run down to wood river which is like right off there you can see it off in the distance but i'm trying to get this done today we got the 7520 it's a two-wheel drive it's not really suited for this planter but we're gonna have to use this guys i gotta I, i've got to get in the field let's hop into this thing Let's pull it out there and see how she does. Yeah, definitely not really suited for this job. I don't know if it's got the power to handle it. Little two-wheel drive. You know, like, this is my utility tractor. This is not really designed for the use we're about to give it. But I don't really have a choice here. We've got to use it. We've got to use something. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I could maybe call Pickle, see if he's got something down at the co-op. Uh, maybe Buck's got a rental I could borrow? I don't know yet, but like, we've got two fields I need to get done today. Let's find out if this thing's gonna work, guys. It's a little on the small side. Let's head on out. Fingers crossed here. Get, get out of my way, birds. Get out of my way. All right, let's put the chain away on this. So I had to use a chain to uh, pull the planter back away from this tractor. I'm just gonna leave this here for now. I don't have a way of towing this out of the field yet. <laughs> it's gonna be stuck out here. It's calmed down at least. It's cooled down. Uh, I must have really blown... I don't know if the rad went... And it's, it, it, I don't know, did it leak right into the into one of the cylinders? And that's what that was? I don't even know yet. Uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous to pull this apart because that's a big failure. Whatever happened there, we got a lot of grinding going on. I don't even know what to think what that was. But uh, something catastrophically went wrong. So while we try and worry about that later, let me uh, let me go grab this. Let's get this all hooked up. And we'll see if we can, if this little 7520, if it can handle this planter. I have no idea if this tractor can handle this, guys. It is only a DB60. But still, this is a pretty small tractor. Two-wheel drive, not a lot of not a lot of torque. Uh, and we gotta go around this to begin with now. So yeah, that's something as well. Let me just back this on up. Get this three-point lined up. Perfect. Alright. Oh man, big goof. Look at the size. The size difference is uh something. Alright. Let's uh let's give this a shot, shall we? Alright, back on it. And uh let's see here. If I could do Let's just go around around it and we'll start on the far side for now hopefully that will at least be able to allow us to get this thing out of here afterwards i'll get i'll see if we can get this out pulled out today obviously i can't have it sit in the crop um let's just get this out of the way maybe gertie can come pick it up now my other problem is i don't have a gps on this particular tractor as well we have gps on the uh the what is it 7580 there and it was fine they worked out just perfectly, but this one here, of course, no GPS, so I'm, I'm doing this manually now, which kind of sucks as well. All right, good enough. Get her nice and close. There we go. We have to miss this section, but uh, it is what it is, guys. All right, let's turn this on. Okay, everything seems to be working. Drop down that, that planting unit. Oh, that was... It was already dropped? Did I not raise it up? I don't think I raised it up. All right, let's go. All right. Well, it seems to be able to do it. We're holding, yeah, 10 to 6 miles an hour. It's perfect. We can get up to third gear. All right, guys. This, you know what? Color me surprised. I did not think that this tractor would be able to handle that planting unit at all. Little John, you're the good. I like it. So as bad as that sucks, that uh, I've got, I've got to deal with that now. It's good to know that this little John Deere here can actually handle this, guys. I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, at the power this thing's got. I mean, it's I'm not gonna lie. It's struggling a little bit. We're definitely we're definitely having a bit of a struggle session here But it's getting her done and that's all that really matters. So we'll get this field done We'll move on to the next one. Hopefully get these both done today without too many issues Get that tractor pulled out of here. All right guys We got those all the corns to the ground this field that fields all done Only thing I got left to do is uh, I'll we'll move the 8530 back to home get her fixed up. Let's uh, get going here Chev should be able to handle it, but Oh man, what a bit of a disappointment today. Oh, oh the, see how the corners, how does it do the corners? Come on, baby. Come on. Oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that, that makes perfect sense. The back end just slides around. Perfect. You know what? I didn't, I didn't think that was going to do it, but uh, apparently the chef does not have a problem towing this thing. Just ignore the fact that I might run into myself. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And, oh boy, I'm getting chased down by a John Deere. <laughs> we'll chat with you guys next time. Have a great day, folks. This is Clutch. Over and out. So bad. Don't stop, Clutch. Hammer down. It's the only way to win this one. <laughs>